Uh, welcome back to Oswego East High School. Welcome to our final band concert of the school year. Um, I'm Mr. Rexroad. I'm joined by Mike Roberts as one of the band directors here. Uh, just some housekeeping things before we get started. Uh, just a reminder to silence your cell phone or electronic devices and to please refrain from using them during the performances, just so that no one around you is distracted, or the performers. Um, you might have seen that we have some students selling 50-50 raffle tickets um, in the aisles. We'll continue doing that during, uh, between ensembles, so if you would like to support the dreams of children, there's your opportunity. <laughs> Um, so we'll be doing that. We'll be pulling the final ticket after Wind Ensemble performs. And so you have like through Symphonic Band before Wind Ensemble to purchase a ticket, okay? Um, throughout the evening, we'll also have our senior slideshow going. Uh, we have it paused so that we're not distracted during our performances, but we'll have it going again between. I also encourage you to look at our concert program and see the senior shout outs that are at, towards the end of the program, um, recognizing all of our seniors. Okay. Um, we have a lot of music to get through tonight, so we're just going to go ahead and get started. This is our combined freshman band. I'm hoping you can like think back to their first concert at the beginning of the year and have seen the growth um, that they have shown this school year so far. Um, Mr. Roberts and I both think that they have grown tremendously. We're really, really proud of them. So this first piece is by Sam Hazo. It is titled A Zillion Nichols, and here we go. Thanks for being here.
All right, as our percussion is getting set um, in our school, if a student is interested in going into like music education or something along those lines, we offer a directed study uh, so that they can get experience being a music educator and seeing what that's like. So this semester we've had the wonderful opportunity for Andrew Snigowski to be working with us as he's planning to major in music ed. Round of applause for Andrew. So throughout this semester, Andrew's actually been working with uh, our third period freshman band um, on a piece titled Torrents of Fire. Um, and so Andrew has been the one who's primarily rehearsed them on this, and he's going to be the one conducting them. So can you please welcome uh, Mr. Andrew Snagowski making his conducting debut. <laughs>
this next piece is titled Symphony Number no. Four by Andrew Boyson Jr. Um, this is I've asked the freshmen. This is the longest piece they have ever played. <laughs> it's it's around ten minutes long. Um, so we're expanding our like ability to focus as a musician. Um, it's in four movements. It has a lot of energy, um, and there's a recurring theme throughout each of them. But with it being a four movement piece, we do ask that you maybe hold your applause between movements, um, and then we'll transition into the next one right away. Um, just a, a performance practice for that. So, as our progression is getting set, um, once they're ready, we'll get started. This piece has something called aleatoric music in it, where the students are given like a line and they're asked to play it at random times. So you're going to hear random things sometimes. That's on purpose. Right. <laughs> Here we go.
All right, as we're transitioning here, we have another opportunity to purchase 50-50 raffle tickets, okay? You see Aiden and Suara and Greg and Alex coming around with the bucket. So, if you would like to, again, support the dreams of children, now's your chance. Um, some other announcements with regard to the band program. On Monday, we have another Lou Malnati's fundraiser at the Oswego location only. Um, that is from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. So if you would like to, again, support the dreams of children and also have pizza, please join us on Monday at Lou Malnati's in Oswego from 4 to 10. Um, purchase 50-50 raffle. Um, and then Mason, can we, oh, he already did it. Melody did it, he already did it. All right, a brief transition here, thanks so much.
Hi everyone, my name is uh, Mr. Mike Roberts, and I am uh, one of the conductors of Symphonic Band that you see behind me, a group of fantastic individuals that we got to know each other the past year, and they've worked tremendous, and they put up with all my shenanigans and pushing them to their absolute breaking point. So uh, thank you so much, everyone, Symphonic Band, great job. Uh, <laughs> um, our next piece is, um, last piece is going to be Ghostly uh, by Robert Sheldon, um, and this is um, picturing the James River River Fleet, um, which is a, uh, a warships that have been decommissioned, um, and it's uh, essentially breaking free of their ghostly fleet. So this is why this one is entitled Ghost Fleet.
all around the house. Uh, this transition here is your final opportunity to support the dreams of children tonight. The 50-50 raffle, this is your final opportunity. Uh, within students that are doing the 50-50 raffle, can you come backstage after this transition? Okay. Um, some announcements for everyone. This year's marching band uh, has one more performance. It is on the Memorial, uh, sorry, it is the Oswego Memorial Day Parade. We have a rehearsal on Thursday, May 25th. So if you are a senior, that is after you have graduated um, and you are not in school that week, please be there, okay? It is at 2.45 and we go until four, okay? So that is on Thursday, May 25th. We have the Memorial Day Parade. Information about that has been in the band update. With regard to marching band for next school year, registration is open and the registration deadline is approaching. That is on May 24th. So please, please, please make sure that you're getting registered. We have new uniforms. We have a wonderful show for next year. So please, please, please get registered. It's a lot of fun. Um, if your student is interested in being a section leader for marching band, there's an application that is available that is due soon. And then drum majors, if your student wants to try out for drum major, we have a clinic tomorrow. Um, and then our auditions for that will be next Friday. If you have a percussionist that is interested in uh, marching band, we start our percussion clinics for next season on Monday from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, new members to the marching band are there from 5 to 6.30. Um, sorry, 5 to 8, and then our returning members show up around 6.30, 6.45 for that first clinic. And then finally, if you know anyone who knows how to dance, cheer, has rhythm, and is in, goes to Oswego East, we would love for them to be in our color guard. Okay, so please tell them uh, to come to our color guard clinics. The first one is on May 15th. That is not this coming Monday, but the next one from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. in the band room is where that will start. Cool. All right, when that's almost going to warm up, and then we'll get going.
Behind me is our Wind Ensemble, which is also comprised of uh, many fantastic students who also put up with all my shenanigans throughout the year. Um, they have done an excellent job and shown so much growth, um, just like every ensemble at the school. Um, I've definitely tested them a lot with some of the repertoire that we've had the past year. Uh, we can think of a couple of those chants. Um, but this one, this past one, um, Khan, which is by Julie Giroux, um, is all about Genghis Khan and his life and uh, honestly his reign of terror um, when he was uh, in power. So this kind of um, starts off with a very, uh, the theme of Genghis Khan and it goes into the middle section which uh, pictures a village, um, a very, like a serene type of picture next to a river, um, ultimately before its um, destruction by Khan. So uh, if that gives you a little picture in your brain, um, we've talked about this before with Wind Ensemble to, for them to kind of build their village um, and bring up the musicality that way. So please enjoy our last one from Wind Ensemble. Uh, this is Khan by Julie Giroux.
All right, uh, one more transition for you. Um, some more announcements this time about jazz. Next Wednesday is our final jazz concert of the school year. So if you have a student in one of our three jazz bands, that will be their final concert of the, the, uh, the season. Um, we also have our jazz camp this summer. The registration is coming up on May 31st. So please, please get signed up. We have a beginner intermediate camp um, and then an advanced camp. Um, all within the same thing. So please get signed up. And then now it is time to pull our winning ticket for our 50-50 uh, raffle. The half amount. That is $420.50. Okay, round of applause for that, thank you. Could we get the house lights on so people can read their tickets, please? Okay. All right, the winning ticket is two, four, three, zero, four, zero. Anyone? Oh, where? Hand, hand. All the way up top. Awesome, thank you. All right, so just bring your winning ticket at the end and then we will um, get you your cash prize. Thanks so much, round of applause, thank you.
This next one's titled Red Line Tango by John Mackey. Um, this is a large scale work. Uh, a lot of colleges perform this, and then we're doing a really nice job with it. So I think that's a testament to uh, the skill and quality of the musicianship in Winston Minnie. So uh, we hope you enjoy Red Line Tango. Thank you. 
All right, this next one is titled Metroplex. Three postcards from Manhattan, and I thought I would use this moment in this piece to announce that in 2025, over spring break, the OEHS bands are going to New York City. So if you're a freshman or sophomore, you'll have the opportunity to go on that trip. Sorry, juniors and seniors, so sorry. More info coming soon. That'll be over spring break. All right. Here we go. We hope you enjoyed the piece. It's super jazzy. It's fun. Here we go.
Um, two years in a row now, our final band concert has fallen on May 4th. <laughs> May the 4th be with you.
passed that out to them on Tuesday. And they learned that in three days, or two days. So, super awesome. Seniors, if you can make your way up to the stage for our senior band in recognition. Um, every year at our final band concert, we always recognize our seniors. Yeah. Um, and we, all, we talk about what they're doing next year, whether they're going to school, whether they're taking some time off, uh, going to a trade school, all of those things, going to the military. Um, so we'd like to do that for you now. So seniors, I'm hoping you can hear me. Can you hear me when I'm talking to myself? All right. When I, ooh, when I, when I call your name, you're going to come up and you're going to get your plaque. Okay. All right. All right, up first, Eliza Green, going to Illinois State University, studying film and digital media. All right, up next is Annalise Henneke, going to Illinois Wesleyan University and studying neuroscience. <laughs> Campbell Drain going to Bradley University studying game design. Anitha Padano, going to University of Illinois at Chicago, studying biology on a pre-med track. <laughs> Tyler Meitzensberger, going to Bradley University, studying electrical engineering. to the University of Missouri, studying electrical engineering as well. <laughs> Aiden Murray, going to the University of Iowa, studying pre-med. going to Michigan Technical University studying mechanical engineering. <laughs> Ashley Snigowski going to Illinois State University studying acting. Riley Straub, going to Wabonzi Community College, majoring in music production. Gabe 
Missoula, going to Obanji Community College, majoring in computer science. Sean Elliott, going to Miami University of Ohio, majoring in chemical engineering and minoring in saxophone performance. <laughs> Elena Mendoza Carlson, going to Bethel University, majoring in engineering. Lillian Reingold, going to Obanji Community College, majoring in Geology and Geoscience. <laughs> Zach Benoit, going to the University of Iowa, majoring in Engineering. Mark Gallego, going to Wabonzi Community College and is majoring in nursing. Kelsey Guerra, going to the University of Missouri, majoring in journalism. Ben Pincus, going to North Central College, majoring in History Education. <laughs> Cassie Cubera, taking a gap year with hopes to go to a college to study Irish folklore and Celtic studies. Mary Wessels, going to Carroll University, majoring in nursing. <laughs> Sydney Williams, going to the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, majoring in political science. Bryn Myers going to the University of Iowa, majoring in creative writing and minoring in music. <laughs> Melanie, Melanie Farr going to DePaul University, studying clinical psychology. Axel Sanchez going to Wabonzi Community College, majoring in Business Administration. <laughs> Giovanna Mayotte going to Northern Illinois University, studying Art Education. <laughs> Arthur Boswick, who is currently undecided. Daniel Tachek, going to Illinois State University, majoring in computer science. Monica Lopez, going to the University of Alabama, majoring in biochemistry on a pre-med track.
Tyler Willett, going to Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, studying aeronautical science. <laughs> Amita Sharma, going to the University of Illinois at Chicago, studying business. Mason Heckman going to Purdue University studying chemistry. Yeah. Ian Kilsgar going to the University of North Carolina at Charlotte studying accounting. Nick Townsend going to the University of Oklahoma, majoring in physics. <laughs> Aiden Collins going to Illinois State University, majoring in zoology with a double major or minor in environmental science. Zach Horse going to College of DuPage, currently undecided. <laughs> Rakshida Kunde going to the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. Her major is really intense, hold on. Studying Finance X Data Science with a double major in Information Sciences. <laughs> Allison Mersman going to Iowa State University, majoring in animal science. <laughs> Patrick Holt going to the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, majoring in agricultural engineering. <laughs> Andrew Snagowski going to Illinois State University, majoring in music education. <laughs> Jacob Kuzner is going to Wabonte Community College. Majoring in computer engineering. <laughs> Alex Harrison going to Bethany Lutheran College, double majoring in mechanical engineering and music performance. Oliver Heffernan, going to Illinois State University, majoring in special education. <laughs> and finally, but not least, Matt Mindy, going to Indiana University at Bloomington, studying computer science. Every year, our band boosters provide scholarships for graduating seniors. This year, we had 15 seniors apply, um, and I, we outsource it, so there's no bias. So I had some band director friends um, that aren't associated with the district read through the applicants, and they selected the following students. So can you please congratulate Eliza Green. <laughs> Andrew Snagowski.
Annalise Hennecke. And Sean Elliott. Related to the seniors, but with regard to our band boosters, um, we are in need of some more uh, booster like um, board members. Our next meeting is on May 23rd, so if you're interested in becoming more involved, we'd love for you to come out to that and consider doing a position with us. But I would like to take a moment to recognize Mrs. Elliott. Um, she is graduating her last student through the program and has been such a tremendous help um, as our band booster president. So can we give a round of applause to Mrs. Elliott? And these flowers are for you. I'm going to give it to Sean. Oh, there she is. Perfect. department award uh, that is given out to a graduating senior who's just been extremely dedicated to the program, has demonstrated musical excellence, and has just really put in the work um, and time that is required of being an instrumental education, or yeah, playing an instrument. So, can you please congratulate Andrew Snagowski. <laughs> As I was preparing for this part, I, I've already cried like five times, so, uh, <laughs> well, um, I was talking to a colleague about why, why is this senior class so special, and it's not to discredit previous senior classes, but there's something about this class that's just like really getting to me in, in a good way, <laughs> and, I, and I, I, it took me a while to figure it out, but I think I, I figured it out. Um, when they came to Oswego East, it was like normal. And then our pandemic happened, and then we've gone through like several uh, director changes, and like throughout that whole process, they've stayed committed and like loyal to the band program, um, and I've been like the constant person with them in that, and so they've gone through all this chaos and like with me, um, and it means so much. It means so much. <laughs> Often we talk about in studying music and studying an instrument, uh, being resilient and being flexible and being able to like go through those challenging moments and persevere. And they've gone through all of that and then they've come out as some of the most ex excellent musicians that have been through the program. But I think what is like really notable about this class that I've never said about anyone before is that they're some of the best student leaders we have ever had in the program. I've never seen a senior class take ownership of the program like they have, this class has. Um, and as a result, our program is so, so, so much better because of them. Um, and so for that, I'm eternally grateful for you all. Um, and I, I says, I've used this analogy with a class before, um, but I can't think of another way of saying it. It's like if you had your best friend growing up that lived across the street, and then you woke up one day and they're moving and like, how do you cope with that like grief and that loss? And that's sort of how I feel. Because um, they've been through so much with me um, and I'm gonna be really, really sad to see them go. So, congratulations seniors, I love you all. So as our uh, 
We have a plethora of things that we're going to give to both Mr. Roberts and Mr. Xro, but I'll just go through and explain the first one. The first one is a whiteboard for all the pools that our band room has. It's been lots of fun during fifth hour. And our whiteboard. And those are just gift baskets with all sorts of personal things, but our main gift here is the red square. Yes. So, for those of you who don't know, this red square refers to a poster in the band room, which has a, a grid of a bunch of red squares. And, uh, and this symbolizes that our class is the tilted red square. And it symbolizes our thanks for having to deal with us for our, all these four years. And now I will go through a couple other things. So, first of all, I'll address Mr. Roberts. Where are you over there? So I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for coming in this year and just making it the most memorable senior year I could ever have. I mean, you have brought so much expertise in music and making the band department a much more lively place. You brought, it, it's just been so great to have you here, Mr. Roberts, and uh, we couldn't have asked for a better assistant band director this year. And then for my spiel for Mr. Rexro, uh, I don't even know where to begin. Mr. Rexro, I started here uh, taking lessons with Mr. Rexro when I was back in sixth grade, and you had just been like the biggest part of my life through music, through everything. Uh, I just can't thank you enough for what you've done for me and for the band program. Uh, you have uh, committed so much time to this band program. It's like it's unreal how much time you've committed. Uh, I should be apologizing to Benny the dog for all the times that you've that you've uh, not put as much time as you wanted into Benny for staying over the weekends for festivals or all over sorts of things. And uh, I would just I'll conclude by saying that my experiences in music and performing arts here at OE have been the most meaningful in my life so far. And this is totally due to you, Mr. Rexro, and I thank you. short and ignore half of the paragraphs that I wrote. So, uh, first of all, I would like to thank all of the senior parents here. Uh, you have stuck with us through a very weird four years. Uh, this is our like first real, normal, full year of high school, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, thank you everyone for, for being here. Um, I would like to thank Mr. Extra and Mr. Roberts. You guys are on awkward sides of the mic, but it's fine. Uh, <laughs> You guys have put so much effort, and I didn't know how much effort you actually put until I had to go up on that podium. Very nervous. <laughs> it, was, it was awesome, though, and I appreciate that experience. That was, that was crazy. Um, past four years, I, I, I don't want to really talk about COVID, so I'm going to kind of glance over that, because everyone knows that he, when you were hearing your children in whatever floor they were of your house playing, whatever they were playing, or not playing, with their camera off. <laughs> um, everyone knows that that wasn't really fun. So I wanted to just pick out one memory real quick and just talk about that, and that would be the last competition of marching band this year. Uh, if everyone knows how the, the previous two competitions went, yikes. <laughs> it was not very good. but. We really pulled through on the last competition. It was kind of a full circle moment for our class as our marching band freshman year. Was the only time we've won previously was the first competition of our freshman year. So being our last competition senior year was pretty cool. Uh, seeing everyone just like, we were, what, 10 times louder than the first place winner when we, <laughs> when we got called for second place. And it was very, it was very special to just see everyone cheering together, celebrating, and then we all went over and yelled a extra time and lost our voices. It was really special. Uh, I got a really bad recording of it, so it was really unfortunate. Uh, thank you guys for sticking with us through all of those struggles through marching band, trying to learn a bunch of new dance moves and ballet that we're not very good at, but we tried. 
It's very difficult to put four years of just pure joy into these paragraphs that I ignored, but uh, <laughs> I think that that summarizes everything. This, this program has given me just a reason to be at high school in the first place. It's given me all of my greatest memories in high school and all of my greatest friends. Uh, and it's, it's even given me my future, which is something I can't really put into words how thankful for, like how thankful I am for. Uh, I was originally going to go into forensics, and then I took that class, and I think I fell asleep a few times. <laughs> but you guys put 25 hours a day into putting all of these concerts and competitions and festivals and all whatnot into <laughs> and making it happen and making them run as good as they run. And I hope you know that you are changing the lives of so many people for the better. I don't know where I would be without the memories I've created, and you know, thank you for just letting me be a part of all of them. Like literally, I was in everything. <laughs> the ability to participate in a directed study, which I didn't even think of in the first semester. So the part that like ability to test out the career that I want to go into and know that it was the right choice, which it was. Thank you, freshmen. You guys are awesome. Um, it was it was very life changing and without a doubt, one of the best things that have happened to me in high school. So thank you guys for the opportunity to participate in BAM these four years. And if I were to go back my freshman year, I don't think I would have changed a thing unless it was doing jazz band first year. I skipped, which is really unfortunate. You should all do jazz. <laughs> this has gone by like just a few hours. The past four years have just been like that. It was just boom, and then it's done. And I. Wish I could go back and relive it all. Thank you guys so much. All right, we have one more. Uh, so seniors, you're gonna go take your spot, okay? Um, every year we conclude our final concert with our seniors uh, performing one more piece for you. Um, we started a new tradition last year where we play a piece called Sola Sane, which means yesterday's joy. Um, it's, a, in my opinion, it's a really reflective and nostalgic work um, and I think sort of encapsulates the seniors' time here at Esprit Guist. They'll perform it tonight for you and you'll also hear it at graduation during their ceremony on May 20th. Um, we hope you enjoy the seniors' final performance here at Esprit Guist.
Thank you all so much for coming this evening. Um, we are gonna have uh, like a senior photo shoot um, up here on the stage. So if you would like to take advantage of that as a parent um, and come take a photo of all the seniors together, now, now is your time. Thank you all so much for a wonderful year with the band program. We appreciate your support so much. Um, have a great evening. Thanks so much.